This week on Raiders Talk of the Nation, we're all in on the Aces. That's one. I see y'all next parade. You feel me? Las Vegas, we are world champions. I bring you to the party on the Las Vegas Strip. The champs were here with them on the double decker bus. All the fans were on Las Vegas Boulevard. Feel good. Plus, why Darren Waller says the team has inspired him. How do we get to that parade? So, okay, how do I have a good practice today? How do I, you know, make sure that I'm playing fundamentally sound on Sunday and then those things turn into championship habits? And how the Aces continue to give back. We went from North Las Vegas to Henderson, Summerlin, Las Vegas proper, and the smiles on these kids' faces, it was everything. Raiders Talk of the Nation starts right now. Welcome to Raiders Talk of the Nation. I'm Sibley Scholes. The Aces brought home the title and made history as the first professional sports team to win a world championship right here in Las Vegas. And after securing the championship title during game four of the playoffs, the team went on to shatter records, securing their first ever championship for the organization. It's a fairy tale finish for a team that has gone through eight franchises since 1997. But it was under the guidance of Raiders owner Mark Davis that everything changed. I can safely say that uh, I am now the owner of the Las Vegas Aces of the WNBA. We're brothers and sisters in bringing sports to Las Vegas. And now we're actually all part of the same family. And I'm just excited for today and the future together. I believe these, are, these women are the greatest athletes in the world at what they do and the difference they can make in the community with young women and the leadership goals that they can give them and the leadership ability and tools that they can give them are limitless. We're gonna be building an 80,000 square foot uh, facility over in Henderson on Raiders Way, right next to the Raiders facility. That's gonna have two full court basketball courts, locker rooms for the Aces year round, um, other locker rooms for if, if another team wanted to come in and practice or whatever, if it would be a G League or whatever, but this is gonna be your home. As they say, the greatness of the, the, the Aces are in its future. Well, the future starts now. The synergy between the Raiders and Aces have extended from Mark Davis to the fans. During the Raiders season home opener, the Aces were also playing for the championship and fans at Allegiant Stadium got to celebrate the win after it happened. Congratulations to the WNBA Las Vegas Aces who have just beat the Connecticut Suns are now world champions. The Aces just won. They're going to come home right here to Las Vegas to celebrate. Let's go, ladies! Delivering the city of Las Vegas its first professional title. Game recognizes game, and nobody knows that more than Raiders tight end Darren Waller, who talked about how the Aces' triumphant season inspired him. Incredible journey, incredible resilience, elite level of commitment, dedication. Uh, I respect it, we all respect it. Congratulations. The parade was, that was incredible. Like, it was, I mean, I thought it was gonna be dope, but it was like completely next level. It was, it was an incredible celebration. Just being there was dope, and it was like, seeing what they did for the Aces and knowing that, you know, people will show up for the same way for us. And uh, it's just dope to be a part of. I just love how they, they uh, acknowledge every single player individually, uh, allowed them all to come up on the mic and speak. And just the fans was just showed up. I was going to almost every Aces game this year, you know what I'm saying? Like, I remember they had patches during the season where they lost some games. People was like, huh, what? Like, what, what was going on? So, you know, it's, it's all a process. You got to weave through the ups and downs and the ebbs and flows, you know? So it's not about, you know, like, how do we get to that parade? It's about, okay, how do I have a good practice today? How do I, you know, make sure that I'm playing fundamentally sound on Sunday? And then those things turn into championship habits. Coming up, I join the celebration of the year for the Aces. Plus, Chelsea Gray talks about raising the stakes. Be a part of an organization, you know, top to bottom, like the players, the front office staff, uh, Mark, they've all been great, and so I want to continue that legacy and hopefully, you know, make you know, my mark here in Las Vegas. Raiders Talk of the Nation will be right back. 
Raiders Talk of the Nation has been brought to you by Allegiant Air, the official airline of the Las Vegas Raiders. Low fares, nonstop flights. Book now only at Allegiant.com. Powered by Cox, a proud partner of the Las Vegas Raiders. After capping off one of the best individual playoff runs in the history of pro women's basketball, it's fair to say this was a year for the books for Chelsea Gray. I caught up with the 2022 MVP just before the historic win to talk basketball, giving back, and her fashion game. I am right now next to none other than Chelsea Gray from the Las Vegas Aces in the building. Raider Nation, stand up. Let's go. Um, the, the energy is great. I always love coming at these games. Super loud, super proud, you know. Really strong, I love it. What's been the coolest thing that's happened to you so far? Just, I mean, obviously being where you're at is a great one, but the fans there, they're like nowhere else. Yeah, I mean, they pack the house. They know each and every player, like, they cheer for you, they have your back. If the refs are making a wrong call, they're on them. Uh, they're supporting us each and every game, so it's awesome. Contract extension. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. We got a smile. We got, we got a little bit of a bag. We got, yeah. We got security. We like the bag. We like the bag. When you have that notification when someone says, listen, this is going to happen, obviously you put your heart and soul into this. This is your love, your passion. When you have those moments to continue going on, this is what you love to do. It's security in um, both ends of knowing that I want to be here and they want me here to have um, to be a part of an organization, you know, top to bottom, like the players, the front office staff, um, Mark, they've all been great, and so I want to continue that legacy and hopefully, you know, make you know my mark here in Las Vegas. What else is making a mark? We're gonna wrap up with that fashion that you bring every single time. <laughs> What goes through your mind when you're picking an outfit? Do you have a stylist you're working with? How does that work? Um, so I just recently I started working with Cindy Bordenero a little bit. Um, but before I was just, you know, putting together things that just look cool and just kind of fit me. Um, I'm like a, a I'm trying to figure out what my fashion like and my style is. Um, but she's helped me like kind of create some of those different vibes and help it come to life. And so she's been great right now. Thank you for making us proud out here Thank in Vegas. You. Thank you so much. A big win calls for a big celebration with the Las Vegas Aces bringing home the city's first professional sports championship title. And what better way to throw a party than on the Las Vegas Strip? This is as elite as it gets and it only happens when you bring a world title to the city. I mean, what has these last 48 hours or so been like? No, again, it's just still sinking in, but it's nice to have a vision and see it come to reality. Shout out to the Aces, incredible journey, incredible resilience, elite level of commitment and dedication. Uh, I respect it, we all respect it, congratulations. for showing up because at the end of the day, representation and showing up counts. I want to let you guys know that this is just the beginning. We just getting started. That's one. I'll see y'all next parade, you feel me? Las Vegas, we are world champions.
The celebration continued as the Aces were honored during the Raiders home game with a special recognition. They are here today to light the torch in honor of and in tribute to Al Davis, who declared that the fire that burns the brightest in the Raiders organization is the will to win. Ladies and gentlemen, your world champion, Las Vegas Aces. What does it mean to be able to bring the first ever pro sports world championship to this town of Las Vegas? Oh man, uh, first of all, Las Vegas came out for us and we so appreciate the support. Um, but it was just a really special group, special moment, and uh, it's nice to have good players. Knowing this is the first year, how much more special is that to you that it just, this is the first time? Well, we're just getting started. We wanted to build a great foundation. We we're off to a great start. Um, obviously, we got a great group and we want Las Vegas to get behind us. Still to come, I catch up with the champs. Have you had a moment to yourselves to think? No, 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 sleep. It's, no, no sleep. sleep. it's for the parade, Nothing. it's for winning. We went too hard for this to sleep. Yeah. Plus, the Aces give back to the city that has embraced them from the beginning. I feel like I've created my own path to where I am now. I've won a championship, I've won a gold medal. So if you don't see somebody in front of you that has your own path, create your own. Raiders Talk of the Nation will be right back. This segment has been brought to you by Modelo, a taste that's pure gold. Modelo, brewed for those with a fighting spirit. since all of this has happened? No, but I'll, there's time for me to have many moments later. And I just want to take in everything that this team has accomplished, what the front office has done, how the community has just rallied behind the Las Vegas Aces, the mission or the vision of Mark Davis and us being able yeah. to deliver, um, the hiring of Becky Hammond, who has done a phenomenal job of creating this championship culture here. And again, this is one of many to come. What are the emotions going through you right now with the fans here, the bus getting loaded up right now, the band back there, everybody in the city right here right now? It's super exciting. Uh, we want to give a, a product that Las Vegas can be proud of. Um, we're just getting started. This is, this is year one. We've built a great foundation. Uh, we got we got to get the city amped. At the end of the day, this is a basketball city. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. it, it is. is. We've been waiting city. for this. We it's a waiting. basketball city, and we're your team, so come on. How much does it mean to the city? Well, it's extremely meaningful because it's the first professional world championship for Las Vegas, and it'll always be the first. Yeah. Um, so it's something that is historic for the city. And I have to be honest with you, I mean, the fans were an integral part of uh, the entire situation. So they came to the games. We kept on selling out games at the end of the season. I think the players end up getting fuel from that. Yep. And I think they ended up going into the finals with that behind them, and I think that's probably one of the major uh, pieces of our success this season. The idea is to just win, but it's to win on and off the field, on and off the court. And uh, these women showed what you can do when you get together and uh, bring your passion together on and off the field. You see all the fans. Yeah. The parade is about to start. Yeah. Have you had a moment to yourselves to think? No, 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 sleep. It's, no, no sleep. sleep. it's for the parade. Nothing. It's for it's winning. We went too hard for this to sleep. Yeah. Too hard for this. To the young kids out there, like I said, over there, the little girls excited about it, specifically those young girls. What do you say to them who have those dreams to aspire to be at this position? Um, well, one, I, I think any dream to be accomplished, um, you have to have an, an intentionality about yourself. There's got to be a laser focus. Um, there's got to be a work ethic, and you've got to respect whatever it is that you're going to going after, whether I want to be the best student or I want to be the best athlete. Be the best teammate. Right. Be the best student, um, and everything else will, 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 will follow. to all the fans out there for 
the support and everything that's happened this season. Uh, you're the reason why we have this team here. We're going to put a great product out. Come, if you like good basketball, come watch us play. I guarantee you'll be on your feet by the end of the game. Oh, you yeah. definitely will. I've been there, and it's the best <laughs> experience <laughs> ever. Congratulations. Thank you. Let's party Thank now. You. Celebrate. Mark Davis, who's invested in women and women right. in leader and putting women in leadership roles. That says a lot about who he is as a person. I'm just so excited that we were able to accomplish um, what he set out to do. He was a huge fan. Obviously, you would see him sideline. You would see him always, always there at the game. But now he said, you know what? I'm going to really invest in these women. And this is what happens when you say a Becky Hammond is a million dollar contract. Yes. And when you say that, yes, we're going to put a Nikki Fargus, a woman of color, in a leadership role. And then I was able to also expand that with bringing in players who have devoted their, their lives to this game. So our general manager, Natalie Williams, a former Olympic gold medalist right. and also a standout. Jennifer Azy, another Olympian. Uh, both of them played for our franchise. And so I think it's important too for us to recognize, again, that it's, it's not just about you being in the uniform. You're more than that. And I think if we, I think the Aces have shown that if you can, you know, kind of broaden your thoughts and your, your thinking a little bit, look what happens. Las Vegas is world champions. Crazy. You know? Yeah, I like repeating it. It feels really good. <laughs> <laughs> that this organization could not have achieved what it's achieved without them. So I really appreciate them. I thank them. And uh, I just am looking forward to uh, uh, developing a relationship, a future relationship, that just uh, gets better and better and better. So thank you. Thank you very much. Las Vegas. I will tell you that this is the first of many to come. We are trying to build a dynasty here under the leadership of Mark Davis. He has allowed us to establish ourselves as the world champions. I know it's heavy. It's heavy. It's solid. Like all of our solid. hard work yes. is in this trophy right here. It's all the three on it's three. Heavy. It's all the five on five. <laughs> it's all the oh, baby cuts out. It's all, all the baby cuts out. out. <laughs> it's in this trophy. It's in this thing. Do you want to say it. anything to the fans? to come, the Aces show they are all in with the community. Go out, share things, you know, be kind, communicate with them, um, ask them how their day has been, um, and just be nice and treat people how you want to be treated. Don't go anywhere. Raiders Talk of the Nation will be right back after this. This segment has been brought to you by Coors Light, an official beer of Raider Nation, made to chill. Raiders Talk of the Nation has been brought to you by Allegiant Air, the official airline of the Las Vegas Raiders. Low fares, non-stop flights. Book now only at Allegiant.com. Credit One Bank, the official credit card of the Raiders. Intermountain Healthcare, the official health partner of the Las Vegas Raiders. Discover your inner champ at Raiders.com forward slash champ. The city definitely showed up and showed out for the Aces' victory, but giving back to the community that has cheered them on from the beginning is something at the core of the Aces organization. Aces Care is a community initiative that we really want to be out and visible in the community. Mark Davis and Nikki Fargus want our local community to know our players. People don't fall in love with a brand or organization, they fall in love with people. What is your name? Look at Jordan right here representing the Las Vegas Aces in the WNBA with his orange hoodie. It starts with those young boys and girls who are influenced by those who they see. And we truly believe that the Aces organization and the men and women that are in the front office along with Becky Hammond and her staff and the players, that we can be role models for this community. I feel like I've created my own path to where I am now. I've won a championship, I've won a gold medal. So if you don't see somebody in front of you that has your own path, create your own. Are you spinning it just like gold medalist Chelsea Gray? 
Throughout the week of the ACES Care School Tour, we went to five schools in five days, and we were in front of 3,800 students and teachers. We went from North Las Vegas to Henderson, Summerlin, Las Vegas proper, and the smiles on these kids' faces, it was everything. Go Camden! Go Camden! So how many of you guys been to a Las Vegas Aces game? Raise yeah. your hand! We're going to give you two free tickets, May 21st, to come and see the Las Vegas Aces play. How about that? It's so important you do your homework at night and that you put time into your studies. It's the value of education. Obviously, the importance of literacy as it relates to education, and really the importance of being kind. Go out, share things, you know, be kind, communicate with them, um, ask them how their day has been, um, and just be nice and treat people how you want to be treated. You know, you hear from your parents and your teachers, but sometimes just having somebody who's, who's visible and in your situation, it's just so easy to, to, to really lock in and listen to what they're saying. You shouldn't have to have anybody tell you to do your schoolwork or to pay attention. You should want to do that yourself. And if you create that baseline of understanding how to work hard, you'll be in our position before you know it. And it's just incredible that the ACEs are out in the community. And I can't wait to see what else we have in store. The Aces may have fulfilled their dreams of a championship, but through their work on and off the court, they prove this is just the beginning. Thanks for joining me on this week's Raiders Talk of the Nation. I'm Sibley Scholes, and we'll see you next time.